Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel Anvin Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important problem for 4 marks that is based on the lens maker formula. So, so many times asked in examinations that's why you have to watch very carefully. Let's go for the question. A double convex lens has two surfaces. A double convex lens has two surfaces of equal radii R and refractive index is n is equals to 1.5 find the focal length of lens f so that is the children find the focal length of a lens of f this simply here first to do this one you have to know get the idea about the radii of a lens so children it is the one by convex lens by convex lens and uh, here obviously this is the first refracted surface that's why it is having some radius of curvature r1 and that should be having some radius of curvature r2 here in these two which is positive and which is negative how to observe so children simply here the r1 is we are showing like this this is the R1. So, first radius of curvature R1 is what? From here to here. This is the center of, this is the center and the distance from here to here is R1. And similarly, we can go for second one. This is the second, this is what? Second refracted surface. Second refracted surface and its radius of curvature is R2. And how we can identify it? like this this is another sphere and now this is the center this is the center clear now simply we are writing this is r2 now clear so this is the r1 and this is the r2 very simple children so if you want to get the clarity i will draw separately again so this is the so this is r1 clear and if you want to get the second refractive surface here I am showing like this now this is center and this is the optic center distance is now here R2 clear that's why this is R2 and this is R1 so R1 is here R2 is here in these two which, which one is taken as positive and which one is taken as negative so children this is the object this is the object the light is moving in this direction clear the light is moving in this direction this is what incident light incident light so r2 should be taken r2 should be taken in opposite to the direction of incident light that's why r2 is negative clear and the light is moving in this direction and R1 is also we are taking in the same direction that's why R1 is positive so you have to remember very clear children so the light is coming like this and we are taking the distance in the same direction it is parallel same direction that's why R1 is positive and if we get the light is coming like this and we are taking R2 in opposite direction that's why R2 is negative so in the lens maker formula 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into r1 by 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 this is the formula we are going to use in that r1 is what did children r1 is positive r2 is negative so next we can go for the solution children in the problem what he was given convex lens has two surfaces of equal radii so for a convex lens R1 and R2 are equal so he was giving that R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R so given and uh, what he was given refractive index n is equal to what 1.5 now what you have to find out we have to find out the focal length f so that is the given data so what you have to find children so we want to find out the focal length so the, the lens maker formula is what 1 by f is equals to 
n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, as usual, 1 by f is equals to n value is what? 1.5 into minus 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by r1 is r, r2 also r. So, I already told you r1 is positive and r2 is negative. That's why r1 is equals to what do I write? r1 is equals to r and r2 is equals to minus r. So, we have to remember for any problem r1 is positive, r2 is negative for a convex lens. You have to remember that. So, 1 by r minus 1 by minus r. So, 1 by f is equals to 1.5 minus 1 means what? 0 0.5 is 1 by r minus of minus plus 1 by r. Clear? Then what do you get? 1 by f is equals to 0 0.5 into 2 by r. 2 by r we will get. So, clear? Then what do you get? 1 by f is equals to 0, point, 0 0.5 into 2. That means what? 1 by r. 0 0.5 into 2. 5 2s are 10. So 1.0. That means what? 1. 1 by f is equals to 1 by r. Then f is equals to r. So therefore, children, focal length is equal to the radius of curvature for given this one. So this is the solution. So children, if you can understand this one, like, share, comment the video and suggest our channel to the your friends also. Thank you.